Hello, welcome to lesson 63. Object initializer in C Sharp brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is object initializer. Right now, we'll understand it. And in the C Sharp version 3 and the .NET version 3.5, this object initializer concept was introduced. And it's a new way to initialize an object of a class or a collection. And object initializers allow you to design values to the fields or properties at the time of creating an object without invoking a constructor and to be in uh, very simple let us take a simple example and let me show you what an object initializer is okay here is a visual studio fired up now let me to understand uh, object initializer very clearly let me create a class called um, student class or an employee let me take it as employee class okay and uh, employee uh, let me create some fields for this employee class the field is id let me create some other fields string public string uh, department okay let me finalize with these three fields and that's enough and let me uh, if I want to assign the values to these fields uh, what we used to do is we used to create a object of this class employee in the main method then uh, using that object we used to access the property then we used to assign the field assign the value to that particular field so let me do that employee uh, let me create an object new employee okay now when I use this employee object then I press dot operator I'll be able to access all the fields present in that class let me go with ID first ID is 1 employee dot name name is C sharp employee dot age or oh sorry the department sorry and the department is of the programming okay now if I want to print this values I used to use console dot right line and I used to pass the respective field okay employee dot name employee dot department okay now when I run this program obviously it will print the f uh, values of the fields respectively one C sharp and programming now let me show you how we can uh, reduce this piece of code uh, every time what I have to do is I have to call the employee object then I have to access the field then I have to assign the value now let us make our code uh, uh, the way of writing the code uh, reduced in a reduced manner how do I do do that I'll make use of uh, the object initializer instead of assigning the f values to the field in this manner let us assign an object initializer way how to do that it's very simple when I create an object of employee instead of closing it with the end brackets let me open the curly braces and let me end with the semicolon at the end now let me make it uh, in a correct format okay now now instead of creating a instead of using the object to access the fields of the class employee now with the help of object initializer directly we can access the field for example you can observe when I press ID now instead of uh, using the employee object dot ID what I'm doing is I'm directly calling the ID uh, field then I can assign the value to that okay this is what the usage of object initializer there is no need of uh, depending on the object to, uh, to access the fields of the respective class okay now the name is C sharp okay and the department is programming okay now when I run this program control F5 it brings one C sharp and programming and that's what we learned in this session we learned how to make use of object initializer and that makes our code simple and easy and more readable and that's what the advantage of using the object initializer in C sharp and as I said it was introduced in the C sharp version 3 and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankh Pro Training and finally don't forget to give the feedback thank you